design in this uh, video i'll be showing you how we can make this uh, soap box uh, in uh, any graphics with uh, by using a surface modeling so let us go to new file and uh, start this modeling so i'll just go to file and new file so let us create a new file click ok the new now the new file is uh, created so let's start with a sketch so i'll go to sketcher environment and select this plane click ok and uh, we have uh, one uh, rectangle here and with a uh, let us make it as symmetric This should be symmetric to this. Let us give a dimension for this. So this dimension it should be 80 mm, and this dimension it should be 60 mm. So now what I will do is I will just give a fillet of uh, 29 mm. 29 mm in all the sides this side as well as this side okay let's finish this sketch and we have one uh, what do you call slot here so so now we have one uh, sketch here so let us take a one more sketch on uh, offset plane of uh, around 20 mm so let's click ok and uh, go to sketch environment on that plane now i will do one more uh, rectangle here so let us uh, give the dimension for this so this dimension should be 80 and this dimension should be 140 and from this to this it is 40 this to this it is 70 and we have a radius of 30 mm so let us give a fillet here so this is 30 mm on all the four sides Let's click finish and as you can see here there are uh, two sketches we have now we need a guide those so let us select a sketch again and let's go to this plane and I will draw an arc here with a three point arc from this point to this point with a radius of 30 on the same in the same way I will do on the other side as well so this is 30 let's click finish the sketch on this the same way i will do on the on this side as well make an arc three point arc from this point to this point it is 30 and the same as on this side as well 30 finish the sketch now as you can see here we have two uh, guide curves and as well as uh, sorry two curves as well as uh, four guide curves so let us make a surface command through curve mesh so i'm going to through curve mesh i'm just selecting this and i'm um, clicking the middle button and this selecting this and let us make both directions same let us give the cross curves one curve, curve second this is my third, this is my fourth, and fifth. So, as you can see here, let us make it as a sheet. Click. Okay. So, as you can see here, this is uh, done. I'll just uh, bounded plane, use the bounded plane and fill it. Go to bounded plane and the surface command. Let us fill it. Okay. 
and uh, this is done now again i will go to the same sketch on this plane go to the same sketch click okay and what i will do is i will i will offset this edge for around uh, 50 mm so let us go to offset and uh, offset it by 3 mm click okay and finish the sketch so what i will do is i will just uh, go to surface command and uh, two curves so select this curve and the second curve is this and click okay now this surface is generated <coughs> Now we have uh, left the down portion. So what I will do is I will just go to the sketcher environment on this plane again, and I will just offset this curve. So let us offset this curve and in the opposite direction by five mm. So click OK and finish the sketch. I what I will do is I will just extrude this curve. And it should be on the sheet. Let us give dimension and the opposite direction. Dimension of seven mm. Click OK. Now what I will do is I will just uh, make some shapes on this edge. So let us go to Sketcher environment again, and I will make a arc. Now this time it is a uh, center arc so this uh, radius should be of 25 mm and from and make it as a should lie on this plane now what I'll do is I'll just give the dimension from this point to this edge it is oh sorry guys let us give a dimension from this point to this and it should be vertical dimension of 26 and click finish so in the same way i will do the sketch on this plane as well so on this plane i will take a arc and let us make a arc with this and this arc dimension should be 14 mm and uh, the dimension from this point to this point it is 15 mm and also this center point should lie on this okay finish so now what i will do is i will just extrude these two curves so let us go to extrude and uh, give symmetric value and just extrude it more than our so box so let us give this as a sheet and click apply on the same way i will just extrude this as well let us give a symmetric value extrude it more this is sheet and click ok now what i have to do is i have to trim this face this surface with these two so let us go to surface command and trim sheet so I'm just going to trim this sheet with this sheet. Click apply. In the same way, I'm going to trim this sheet with this one. Click apply and just hide these two. So now, as you can see on the bottom side, we have got the sheet. In the last, so what I will do is I will just go to Sketcher environment on the on this plane. So let us create a. slot here with a dimension of uh, this is 40 and this is 10 and from here to here it is 20 and now Sorry, this is actually two, and now this two, this dimension it is twenty. Okay, now I will just pattern this 
so let us go to pattern and select this edge and it should be on this side the pitch distance will be 40 it, uh, sorry pitch distance is 10 and uh, uh, span distance should be 40 click ok now what I have to do is I have to trim this sheet so I'll just finish this and uh, let us trim the sheet go to surface command and select this surface and select all these plots and it should be keep if you are selecting the outer surface click on as you can see here the slot is generated for uh, water drop so now what i will do is i will just hide uh, instead of hiding just i will just uh, see these three sheets so let us go to see you and i have see you all these three except this why i will tell you later i'll just hide this now what i will do is i'll just uh, thicken this so let us go to thicken command and thicken it with one mm dimension on the opposite direction okay and i'll thicken this as well with one number now you have to these there are two thicken you have to sieve them so let us go to sieve and this thicken and this thicken i will sieve now hit ctrl w and hide everything and show the solid body as you can see here our uh, soap box is ready so please subscribe to my channel if you have any doubts please uh, ask in the comment section Thank you everyone, thank you one and all.